Before we get into the video, here's a quick shout out to Oyoa.com, our sponsor. If you don't want to grind for items, runes, and you want armor real quick, then you can get it from these stalwart champions. And by using the code in the description, you can get 3% off. Remember, Guru. Greetings, Elden Ring Guru here. Today I'm going to show you how to turn Commander Niall's soldiers against him, as well as an easy strategy to pwn him. To make his own men turn on him, you'll need a specific item that I'll show you how to get later in the video. As soon as you enter the boss room, he will summon his two stalwart warriors, thinking it will intimidate you. He doesn't realize that we have the branch of power, the bewitching branch. This magical twig, when activated in the face of his subordinates, will confuse and disorient them into attacking their beloved ruler. The trick to getting both of them bewitched is to stand in the right hand corner far away so the faster knight runs up to you first. Once his allegiance is turned telepathetically, quickly run to the other enemy with the shield and brainwash him too. Now they're both on your side, back away from Niall and let them aggro him. He won't be able to believe it. He paid these men well and they've turned on him. During his first phase, while he's baffled, let them do most of the work while you stand back and attack him from range with a weapon of your choice. Your two buddies will make short work of his first phase, and once his health is down halfway, they will be automatically unsummoned. And his second phase will begin. The electrified Nile. The strategy for phase two is to keep far away from him all the time. So we lure him into the same two attacks over and over. One of these moves we want to see is where he'll stomp his electric leg into the ground and then jump towards you. You can easily avoid this by rolling before he lands. You'll then want to hold forwards and sprint so you can run around his follow-up attack, leaving him open to a single strike from a weapon of your choice. You will always avoid his follow-up attack if you hold forwards and sprint after you've dodged him. You only want to hit him once and then run away. Doing this will mean you'll avoid anything he does after hitting him. As we'll be far away again, he'll be baited into one of the two moves we want. The other move that we want him to do is where he will summon a cloud of frost and then rush towards you. When he rushes at you, just roll out of the way of his attack, the same as with his jump attack. Then hit him once and run away again. Using this tactic will mean that we can safely hit him every time after these two moves and retreat before he can hit us. You can always use some ranged attacks too while you're waiting for one of the two moves. Remember not to get greedy and try to hit him more than once after you've dodged him, as he will catch you out. Just take it nice and steady, and he'll be dead before you know it. You can buy five bewitching branches from the merchant coast of Bellum Church in Lernia of the Lakes for 1,600 rooms each. A solid purchase. Hope this helped. He <laughs> he, he's underleveled. He's underleveled! Now's our chance! It's like lagging, so it feels like it's a human. The saddest twink of nerd ever. Die, you nerd! Right in the fruit? Why? 